you're riding with the most remarkable aircraft, one that flies in silence without need for an engine. This is a sailplane, an aircraft which uses the boundless energy of the sky, power that nature provides for all who practice the sport of sky sailing. Sky sailing. the hawk or gull soars above its terrestrial home, so does the sailplane. Its pilot turns the graceful craft in a rising air column called a thermal. This keeps the sailplane aloft. Sometimes a companion will investigate your thermal only to find that he has left a better one behind. The invisible terrain of the atmosphere is the domain of the sailplane. Precise control is always in the hands of its pilot who flies the sailplane with an enjoyment like that felt by the sailor or skier. The joy of sky sailing, or soaring as it is usually called, is found in its natural and effortless flight. Ever since man has dreamed of flight, he has sought the secret of the ease and simplicity of the flight of birds. Soaring is that secret. Only when flying a sailplane, you become a part of the craft and share the pleasures of pure flight. Down there, this sailplane was created in a modern factory where steel, aluminum, fiberglass, and other rugged materials are shaped into its form. Craftsmen are the builders of its steel structure. Engineers are the designers of its components, then combine them into the total craft. All designs inherit beauty from the slender wing sailplane anatomy. They also inherit strength from new materials and methods of construction. There are routers that cut the aluminum sheet into basic shapes. are special presses that form the shaped metal into final part. Rollers bend sheet metal into desired forms. The metal sheets are then crafted into the sleek body of the sailplane and also into its control and flying surfaces. During all stages of final assembly, quality checks are made. Federal Aviation Agency tags certify airworthiness of each unit. Stress tests prove that the sailplane is one of the strongest aircraft constructed. Its wings are built in these precision forms. Each part must meet requirements for size, strength, and overall quality. Not all sailplanes are completely factory built. Prefabricated construction kits are available which enable anyone to participate in building. 
difficult metal work is already finished when the home builder starts in his kit. The steel tube fuselage and the aluminum wing are received in an advanced stage of completion. Simple tools and average skill combined with a clear assembly manual ensure successful construction of a kit. The kit develops into this trim sailplane. Home building makes it possible to own a sailplane at a fraction of the cost of the lowest price power plane. Such construction kits are certified by the Federal Aviation Agency because of their approved prefabricated metal construction. They easily receive the necessary license required for flight. It's not necessary to own or build a sailplane to enjoy this flying sport. Soaring schools and clubs exist that are equipped to train the newcomer in soaring or to adapt the pilot with powered plane experience to this realm of flight. The sport is taught and practiced in all parts of the country. There are no geographic limitations. The two-place training sailplane is the first of this family of aircraft introduced to the student. Safety harnesses and seat belts are standard equipment. Flight controls and instruments are quite similar to those found in powered aircraft, but there are some special features, such as this nose hook to which the tow line is attached. A check of this mechanism is always made by pulling the red release knob in the cockpit. With the tow rope attached, Flight preparations are nearly complete. However, there's another partner in this launching whose mechanism must also be inspected. The powered towing plane has a similar hook to which the other end of the 200-foot tow line is attached. A final check of controls is made. Then the raised wing gives the signal for the flight to begin. It takes but a few feet for a sailplane to be airborne. It can land in as short a distance. The sailplane is an aerial trailer when still attached to its tow plane. The sailplane's instruments indicate speed and altitude during the towed flight. Upon reaching an altitude of several thousand feet, the sailplane releases from the tow plane, free at last in its own element. Special flight instruments are now used to detect the rising air currents or thermals. The silence of the sailplane permits the instructor to converse with his student even at a whisper. The tow plane returns the rope to the starting point to take other sailplanes aloft, often making as many as 10 tows per hour. A typical short training flight teaches the student proper tow and landing procedure. Pilots with powered plane experience are often surprised by the ease of adapting to a sailplane.
but even for the beginner in soaring and in flying. The first solo flight is normally accomplished after an average of 25 training flights. After some further instructions and solo flight time, one can qualify for a government-issued private pilot's license for sailplanes. The first solo on a sailplane is an unforgettable experience for both the veteran power pilot or the novice. From the moment the rope is released, the pilot feels a sense of unity with the sailplane. This feeling of intimacy and oneness with aircraft and sky is seldom enjoyed by pilots of powered aircraft. Words and pictures cannot fully describe the sensation of silently sailing in the sky. Fields and streams pivot slowly beneath the sailplane's wing. The entire sky becomes your playground. The earth seems remote. But to it one must return. Even after landing, the spell is not completely broken. The experience becomes a part of everyone who has become the flight partner of a sailplane. The training sailplane soon prepares its pilot for more advanced craft, which offer higher performance with ease of flight. performance sailplanes have flown distances of over 500 miles, have soared to altitudes over 8 miles, and have remained aloft as long as the skill and endurance of the pilot would permit. Soaring has been recognized as an international sport since the early 20s. Regular national contests are held where pilots compete in distance and speed events. A well-known soaring center is this field at Harris Hill in Elmira, New York. In the early days, the craft were known as gliders. That's a term no longer applying to the sleek, high-performance sailplanes of today. Team spirit is part of every soaring contest. It is the cooperation between pilot and ground crew that makes contest flying a rewarding and satisfying experience. Soaring also provides an education in many related fields. An aerial chart becomes as familiar as a road map. One learns over what terrain the sailplane finds rising air currents that permit cross-country flights of hundreds of miles. The sailplane pilot is introduced to the family of clouds. He learns which are best for supplying nature's atmospheric energy that the sailplane harnesses to climb thousands of feet. The anatomy of aircraft becomes familiar. Sailplanes are designed for easy assembly and disassembly. It takes but minutes to ready the craft for flight. A sailplane can be handled, stored, and transported with the ease of a pleasure boat.
but the appeal of sky sailing can be understood only after you have taken a flight in one of these man-made gulls and have felt the unity with sky and sailplane, have felt the acceleration of pure flight, satisfaction sought in many sports but felt only by those who go sky sailing. Sky sailing.